Hello YouTube. I've got my new Slipknot hoodie. A really good heavy metal band. But I'm here today to talk to you because to talk to you about what I'm seeing. I am at a uh, I don't know what to call it, military base. World War II military base. And there's a few interesting things here. flag on it but it's also got the British ins insignia which means it's a British war plane as many people know this is a uh, watchtower which was used to control uh, the planes as they took off and landed in on the runway the runway is just beyond over there And over here, some of the cool stuff, some of the weapons that were used during the war. I'm, I'm not really an expert on uh, weapons or things like that, but I'll do my best to explain. This rifle, which is quite, uh, quite ingenious, if you look there, that is the uh, the rear sight. You could adjust it the number of yards. Here's the rear sight. See the rifle? And here's the ammunition. And some of the grenades. There, you could see magazines with ammunition in them. All the stuff over here. World War Two is a C. World War One is an S. The uh, the cloth to splash the toiletries. They all fit into this bag. Yeah. Everything here fitted into this bag. The, uh, all the tools, the cutlery, and everything like that. So, let's look at some other things. There are many interesting things here. This is Karoo, Pembrokeshire. Oh, look! I want to get that. A model of a tank. Some tanks. Oh, there's, a, there's a few battleships over there. Remote control jet about to take off at the front of the control tower. Remote control jet? Did I just hear that? This there is a uh, World War II bunk, uh, shelter was used to uh, probably hide from the German air raids. Now let's go into the control tower. Let's see what it's like in here. There's the people who used to work there. Many women took on the roles of radio operators who would be working at the base in both Britain and Germany. Many women would also be nurses. This nurse, if a soldier was injured, would help them. Put bandages on them. And here's the radio stuff that they would use to uh, communicate. Then, I oh, look some binoculars groups and a compass. Out. This helmet has suffered heavy Names. damage. There's even a telephone and Monomere. a fashion button. And I think this is where the soldiers would sleep, some of them. Or maybe if they were injured, a nurse would come in and help them. I'm just showing you the stuff here. Typewriter. I do apologize for the way I speak sometimes. I say random words and I don't know what words to say. 
Oh look, propeller. A damaged propeller. There's a flame in the air there, if any of you can see. That's a memorial for the amount of soldiers, the, the amount of casualties. So each cross, I think, represents a casualty or soldier who sadly died. The memory of those who served at this airport, RNAS Pembroke, 1915 to 1918. RAS Hugh Sheraton, 1939 to 1945. So this was First and Second World Wars. Now I'm just walking through the, uh, yeah, that's what it's called, an airfield. Here's a vehicle, one of those that fought during the war. A motorbike attached to a, uh, I don't know what to call it. A motorbike attached to a thing for the uh, passenger seat. This vehicle over here. Lofty. I don't know the name of this vehicle. I think it's a Lofty Elvisa. I think. There's a weapon at the back. It has 30 caliber ammunition, which is there. That gun looks quite powerful. I do not just walk around. RAF police. That's interesting. I do believe it's military police. Military police. Sorry for them background noises, that's the sound of planes in the air. Let's head back to the Spitfire because there's more cool stuff there. It's really crowded, isn't it? Lots of rifles and those projectiles were used for mortars. My daddy was back down in the world as I was 11, 11 years old, driving the mice off. But, yeah, he got me to drive on that because you got a lot of options. And look. A few bazookas. Now on this bazooka, you could see the, the rear sight there and the fore sight there, which is how you would aim. Right, I did my best to make this video. So if you like it, please subscribe and like my video.